In just a few moments, WEC qualifying will start. So there's been slight changes to the format this year. Pole will still be determined by an average time. However, it's been simplified by only counting one fast lap from each of the two drivers. So it's worth taking this time to explain the graphics you'll see at the bottom of your screen. During a fast lap, the reference to the sectors, as usual, will appear around 10 seconds before the car crosses the line. Once the car crosses that sector, the time and the gap to the reference will appear. So when the first driver starts his fast lap, this is a classic qualifying situation. However, when the second driver starts his fast lap, he's running not only to make the fastest lap time, but also improve the car's average. So we've added the target time so you can see what he at least needs to equal to improve that average. The graphics will then show you that car's average and the gap with the best of its class and whether or not it's improved its position in the classification. It's a brand new show for 2015 and we hope you'll enjoy it. All that's left to say now is action.